Hey there, YouTubers. It's Don from True Cable coming back at you again with Dave Harris. And today, uh, Dave is going to be demonstrating how to dress cables uh, that are coming through a wall uh, into a patch panel prior to termination. So he's going to give you some tips and tricks that you may not know about. So stick around. We'll be right back. So here we have an unloaded patch panel, meaning that uh, it's set up to take keystone jacks uh, um, for termination. Here we have uh, our runs that we just pulled in behind the patch panel, and now it's our job to uh, get ready to terminate and put them in their proper order. But we also want to make sure that we don't have a big tangled mess back behind here. We want all of the cables to be lined up, not crossing each other, because in the future, if we have to service this thing, we want to see where the cables are going and not have to try to pick them apart from each other. Um, so, all of these are numbered, and they usually come numbered in Sharpie because that's the way the installers do it. They number each end so that uh, you know which cable goes where. So, uh, we'll also eventually label them up here. And so we want them, in this case, in numerical order. So what I'm going to do is start with number one. Well, I don't really have to start with number one. There's three. Three is going to go through this one. And I'm just running them through the holes in the patch panel that they're going to correspond to. And then we'll figure out what the lengths need to be. So as I'm pulling these through, I'm also making sure that they're not tangling up each with each other back behind to the best of my ability. So now they're in order and we'll want to take each one and make the distances about equal. So now get the distances about right because we want these to be nice back here. And then we're going to take a Sharpie and mark each cable where it meets the patch panel. Okay, close enough. And also, the numbers here are now in the place that's going to be cut off. Even though we put them in positions that we know which number is where, we still want to make sure that we relabel all these. So back here behind, we'll put new numbers on. Now we don't want to cut it off where we put our line. Our line just marks where the patch panel is. So that's going to be a useful mark for when we terminate um, because we want that mark to be up inside the keystone jack. So I'm going to cut these with about three inches to spare here. Now it's time to terminate. We can pull each one out. Uh, strip it back to where we need to so that um, our keystone jack is going to line up correctly in the patch panel port. Then, I don't know if you can see it from where you are, but back behind there's a lacing bar. And we'll use uh, either little skinny strips of Velcro or little tiny zip ties um, to straighten these out and keep them straight. 
So um, that's how I go about doing this. We'll use some Velcro in the back to hold it into a nice tight bundle. And then uh, the uh, lacing bar will keep them from crossing over each other. And once terminated, the keystone jack can snap right into the uh, patch panel and we'll be ready to go. Okay, so Dave Harris there showed you how to get all of your cables all nice and lined up, not crossed over, and uh, so that you can get your keystones terminated and this all looks very nice and professional. Uh, one of the big things in the industry, uh, and uh, something that Bixie drives very hard, is called good workmanship and taking pride in your work. So the better your work looks, uh, the better perception, the more jobs you're going to get, and the better you feel about your work as well. It also makes it easier on the next guy in line who's trying to figure out what you did. Uh, one thing that some keen-eyed YouTubers are going to notice out there is that we did not, in fact, make use of a service loop here. Uh, this was a demonstration only. Normally, uh, we would have a cable coming through here, and it would be then turned into a circle eight pattern right about here. And that would be a minimum of, uh, in this case for residential, three feet of slack turned into a circle eight. So anyway, um, with that said, I'm gonna say, please subscribe to our channel. Check out our Cable Academy at truecable.com. Leave a comment below. We would very much love to uh, uh, hear from you and answer any questions you may have. And I'm gonna say, you have a great day. Happy networking.